Welcome to this Wise Owl tutorial on ways to filter within PowerView. Here's what you'll learn during this short tutorial. We'll look at the three ways in which you can filter visualizations in PowerView, either using slices, which aren't the same as they are in Excel pivot tables, by filtering views or visualizations within them, or finally by using tiles. So let's get started. We'll start with a look at the first of the three ways of filtering data, which is to use a slicer, probably my least favorite. To do this, I need to create a PowerView report, so I'm going to create that. I've carried over the data model from the previous tutorial in this series, and so what I'm going to do is create a report or visualization by region name, by species name, and showing the total quantity. Nothing changes, does it? What I now want to do is create a slice at the top of my report so that I can easily choose to show data for a particular year. To do that, what you need to do is click off the table. You can see if I'm on the table, the slicer tool is, is not available. Click off the visualization on the background of the report and choose what you want to slice by. In this case, I'm going to start with the calendar year. When I tick that, it will create a separate table, a separate visualization. And what I can now do is turn that into a slicer by clicking on this tool on the Design tab. I can then decide which of the years I want to look at, or I can click on this tool to filter, clear my filter and show everything. It might have been more sensible to show a slicer which was actually part of my table, so what I'm going to do is click within the slicer and delete it by pressing the Delete key. Again, you'll have to take my word that happened. And what we're going to do instead is slice it by the species. To do that, you can go to the species. Make sure you don't have any anything selected in your pivot power view report. Choose a species, and I can turn that into a slicer. And you can see that if I choose mammals, it's much more obvious what's going on in my um, visualization on the left-hand side. So that's the slicer. I'm actually going to click within this and press delete to get rid of it because I'm not a big fan of them. What you'll notice is slices in PowerView are not the same as a slicer in a pivot table. A second way in which you can filter data in a PowerView report is not surprisingly to choose a filters area. You can toggle this on or off by clicking on this tab on the PowerView tab. What we're going to do is create two different visualizations. So if you click on the background of your report, what the first one will do is to group by region and then within region by year, and then it will sum the quantity. So I'll just scroll down to that and choose quantity. Depending on the settings you've got in your Power Pivot data model, you may need to choose do not summarize for your year to get this to work. Click on the background of your report, and what we'll now do is create the second um, table. And what this will do is do the same thing, but for the species. So if you choose species and then choose quantity, and it's created a separate table. When you come to filter your data, there are two options. If you click on the View tab, any filters you apply will apply to all of the tables, charts, matrices, whatever you've got in your report. If you click on the Table tab, it will just apply to the specifically selected table. So what I'm going to do is start with a more general View tab and add filters, which will affect both of the two tables you can see. To create a filter, um, you can drag a field onto the filters area. So I'm going to start with the year and say that it has to be 2013, although I will keep changing my mind. It's a male prerogative. So when I drag year on, you can click on this little symbol to change the filter mode. In the first mode, I can choose 2013. I'm then going to go to the next filter mode and change my mind and say that actually, instead of that, it's got to be 2014. I did say I'd change my mind. I'll then apply that filter. And in the third mode, and final mode, and probably the most exciting, I can click and drag to change what I'm looking at. And you'll see whichever one of those three I did, the figures were changing on both of the two reports. So I'm going to change it back so I'm looking at absolutely everything, and you can see both tables update. So that's general filters. What I'm now going to do is set filters for this individual table on the left-hand side. So to do that, I'm going to go to the table uh, menu option. And what I'll do is set two filters. One is that the region should be the northwest, and the second is by the quantity. So if I click on the region, I can choose any combination of regions I want. Let's have the north and the northwest, actually, and push the boat out. And for the quantity, I can click on that and choose exactly which total quantity I want to view. For those who know SQL, I suppose this is a bit like the having clause. So I'm going to choose an arbitrary range of 996 to 1173. Not a good choice because there wasn't any data. So I'll expand my choice a little bit. 
So that's how filters work. You can apply them generally on the view tab or to a specific visualization using the table or matrix or chart or whatever it may be menu option. The third way in which you can filter data is to use tiles. So what I'm going to do is on this blank report I've created is create a new table showing by region and then by species the total quantity. And what I'm going to do is create tiles out of this. Now to do that you can click on the visualization you want to tile and then in the design tab of the ribbon you can choose tiles. What PowerView will do is take the first column in the visualization and put it on a tab strip across the top here. And as I choose different regions you can see it's automatically changing my data. So far so good. The other way in which you can create tiles, I'll just undo what I've done there by going to the Power View tab and clicking on Undo. The other way in which you can create tiles is using the Power View Fields strip on the right hand side, which is probably an easier and better way. What I'm going to do this time is tile by species. So what I can do is take the species column and drag it into my tile by box and Power View will automatically create tiles by species. You can only ever tile by one field. And now you can see as I go between the different species, it's changing my data accordingly. So I have more control over which column I tile by using that method. There's two types of tiles. We're looking at the moment at tab strips. You can also choose tile flow. It looks a bit weird in my opinion. You can see at the bottom I can choose which of the, in this case, species I want to look at. But I'm not a big fan of it, so I'm going to go back to tab strips. Now more or less the only other thing I can think of to say about tiles is that you can have more than one visualization controlled by the same tile. So I've already got this table being controlled by my choice of species I make. What I'm now going to do is to add in another visualization and a table which will show the average price by town. So I'll drag the town in. Its positioning is a bit weird. It puts it, butts it up to the other table. I'll then choose the price and what it will do is create a table showing the average price by town. Now if I make a choice at the top here you'll be able to see that both of the two sets of data are changing at the same time. And you can have as many as far as I know as many visualizations as you like on the same tab strip. If you like what you've seen and heard so far why not head over to the WiseR website where you can find loads more free resources including these videos some written blogs and tutorials, and even some exercises that you can download to practice your skills. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.